Well, hello again, everyone. Bill Flower here from Oceanside Golf Services in Parksville, British Columbia. I'm in my office. I was on the computer looking at more detail about the Squares golf shoes because I realized in the first two presentations I made, which you can tell are not Hollywood quality, my iPhone's on a tripod and it's just me. No makeup, no lighting, no background music. Anyways, I realize I've been touting these shoes, but have I really been telling you much about them? So most of what you can get, like this information, look at the squares.com website. It's very thorough, goes through the history of the shoe, the technology. But a couple things I can tell you about, because I do wear these, and I'm getting ready to play golf tomorrow to wear them, is first of all about the shoe. Not a lot about the socks, but there is a little point about the socks I want to make. First to the shoe. So when we look at the bottom of the shoe, I believe it's called Torque Generation System. And it's all about the positioning of the spikes and the highlighted red ones are the ones that are giving you greater stability to the ground. And then they have all this extra uh, traction bars basically in s sort of concentric circles which help you to stay grounded when you're in that turning motion. Now, I know you probably can't see my face because I'm more interested in telling you about the shoes. Look at the bottom of them. I'll show you the side profile. They've got layers of supported foam and rubber. Also we talked about that I went and played in the rain. They didn't leak and I had water up to here on a couple of shots right over the toe they were bone dry they still are now i'm going to move around here so bear with me this is my hollywood 101 attempt at showing you the laces so if you look at these laces closely see that little silicone nub there they're about every quarter of an inch what they do and they eliminate one of my biggest pet peeves about laces in any shoes, not just golf shoes, is they provide a little grip to the eyelet. So once you've cinched it to the level of support you want, that lace doesn't slip and uh, when the shoe opens up, it doesn't move. It stays locked in place. Amazing invention. I didn't think a shoelace could uh, have so much intricacy to it. So the laces are a big plus for me. So there's the bottom amazing read the website or look at the website you have to read or you could listen there's all sorts of videos on there and i'll just show you the shoe a little bit closer there's my square toes and it's patented don't try and make one yourself look pretty funny if you cut your shoes off and then try to mold a square on your other shoes so that's the shoes that was my back now here's the little socket which i really like because if you look at the back part of it where your heel would be it's got a cushioned i'm going to call it a flap it's got this little flap on it which goes up higher right around your achilles attend achilles tendon not achilles uh, tendon and it helps to protect the back of your foot i'm going to slide it on you hear me groan as i bend over i'm coming up for 62. there it is on the back of my foot look at me stretch honey help i'm getting a cramp but that's protecting what could potentially be an area where it would rub. It does rub, but my foot's protected. I'm a happy guy. So keep watching me talk about squares. Even Bob, I just call him Bob because he's got this big long last name. The founder has reached out to me and another couple of guys, Mike, another one in the marketing department. They think what I'm doing is great. They don't realize it's just me. So I'm not some star, certainly not a wannabe, but I am a major fan of my Squares golf shoes. Playing tomorrow at 9, 10 a.m. I'll let you know how I hit it. Maybe it'll result in another four birdie round lining up my putts. As I always say to everybody, thanks for your time and good golfing.